design boot camps. So what are they? So boot camps in general are programs or classes that you take to just like accelerate your learning and growth inside a field of practice. So coding boot camps, or in our case, design boot camps. They're here to speed up the process and essentially prepare people for working in the industry. They usually provide mentorships, really cool projects, and just like a community of other students and teachers. All this sounds great, right? But there are definitely some downsides, so let's walk through some of those pros and cons. This is my nice bean bag that I'm sitting on. It's comfy. So just a side note, I never went to any of these boot camps before. I went to design school and I got my degree in graphic design. Anything related to like UX or product design, I was, I was self-taught and just kind of like learned by doing, by working on projects myself. Um, so that's my quick story. All right, here's the first pro. You learn so much in such a short amount of time. So these boot camps, they're like seven, eight, 12 weeks long, uh, sometimes even longer. But for the most part, they never reach more than like half a year or so. So if you think about it, that is a pretty short amount of time to learn so much information. You know, students, they go to college for this. They spend four years learning all this stuff. When you go to a boot camp, you're done in like, like, eight, like I said, eight, 12 weeks. That's such a short time period to learn so much information where they just like walk you through and, and teach you the whole entire uh, design process and, and life cycle. That's like, that's freaking great. <laughs> Pro number two, you work on really cool projects. Some boot camps, they have you work on just one big project during the entire program. So you're kind of like learning, taking classes, and then also on the side, you're, you're going through this one big project. Um, others, they have you work on like two or three. In general, you know, all these projects, they're, they're pretty sweet. Like some of them, they have you implement new technology. So like voice, AI, VR, AR, they have you implement and start thinking about those types of experiences inside the project or the problem space that you're working in, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, they have experts in that and they help you through think all those design decisions and walking through the different processes to help, help go about implementing those things. Pro number three, community. So because this is a program, because you're taking classes, there's that whole community aspect of this. You're learning with other students, you know, other people that are that have the same interests and drive as you because they're, you know, you're all in the same class. You're all in that same, working on the same types of projects together. So you're in it together. Um, and on top of that, your teacher, you start to develop this like intimate relationship with the teacher that you just don't get if you're watching, you know, some type of video. You know, you just, you can't get that, that, that type of relationship and bond um, in learning from behind the screen versus, you know, in person. All right, all these pros, this sounds pretty awesome. Um, there are some downsides, so let's get to that. All right, con number one, and this probably carries the most weight to it, and that is money. Some places cost like $4,000 for, for like eight weeks. Um, I've seen prices go as high as $8,000 for 10 weeks. And I've seen like places that actually don't even charge you up front. Uh, they, they will take a percentage of the salary that you make once you find a job. So if you don't find a job, you don't pay them anything. So, so yeah, these places, they, they don't come cheap. Design, engineering, all these boot camps that are essentially are for tech jobs. You know, we're in the information age right now and tech is a booming field. So it's no wonder that these places cost so much. They're providing so much valuable information to you. Con number two, so much information in such a short time period. All right, I know I said this is all this is a pro, but it's also a con. Like it's great that you learn so much in such a short time frame, but you just lose that value and knowledge in each of the different parts of the design process. Because you're rushing through, you're, they're trying to dump as much information to you as possible. A lot of it can just be super overwhelming and you just won't dedicate the necessary time to really understand and work through each of those different parts of the design process as you should be. 
So usually the first phase, like defining it and really understanding the problem space where you're just gaining as much information as possible. Um, they probably only dedicate only like a, like a week or two weeks on this, where in reality it should be weeks and weeks, sometimes even months, just to be in this very first like like uh, defining phase and discovery phase of the design process. Con number three, the opportunity cost of working on your own things. These boot camps are pretty intensive. Taking a bunch of classes, uh, getting lessons, you're learning a lot of new things. And then on top of that, you're working on this like big project throughout the entire course. You know, that's a lot of time um, that it takes to complete the program. Um, and that time, you can use that to work on other things or maybe even look for a new internship or a job. So I like to look at this at like, if you're signed up for these boot camps, you're paying them to learn things. Whereas, you know, if you spend that time to look for an internship or a job, junior level design role, um, and get it, then essentially they're paying you to learn because you're getting real world experience because it's an internship or a job. Um, and also they usually pair you up with a mentor, you have a manager, you work with other designers or a part of a team in a real world environment. So you just learn so much from that whole experience versus something that is simulated inside of school. And you're getting paid not paying. All right, so are design boot camps worth it? It depends. I think you learn really great things from it and that community aspect is super valuable and it's, it's amazing. So if money isn't an issue for you and you're willing to pay, then I say yes, you should do it. But remember, there's no way you can become an expert in just a few weeks or like a month or two months um, from this boot camp. It takes years and years and years of practice and experience and just like overall curiosity to really fully understand the whole design process and then actually like incorporate that into your day to day and solve real world problems that, that us humans, us people are facing. So don't stop learning and working on new projects when you're finished with the boot camp, and even when you're going throughout the course itself. Stay curious and always ask questions and just have this like growth and learning mindset. If you're someone who's tight on a budget and is kind of iffy on the fence about doing one of these design boot camps, then I say no, don't do it, it's not worth it. The reason for that is because there are plenty of online resources for free that you can use in your day to day to really help guide your designs, your, your projects, help, help you go through the, this whole like design process and phases when building out any type of product. And then also when crafting your portfolio when you're looking for jobs. Any one of your questions is just like a quick Google search away. Medium has a bunch of articles, there's a strong design community of, of blogs on there. There is YouTube videos, anything like that, and just online design blogs and forums. So there's so many things at your disposal um, that are free. There's also plenty of online tight-knit communities on like Slack, Facebook groups, and also Discord that you can join for free where everyone is just you know, super willing to help out. So as designers, we really set ourselves up for success and, and future designers to jump on board easily because of all these free resources that we write or, or, or record videos or um, just talk through a bunch of design processes, all the problems we're solving, these creative solutions that we came up with, um, and just like all these communities that we're building on multiple different channels. It's, it's amazing. So you don't need to pay money for these boot camps. You just need to put in the effort to learn. All right, I hope that was super helpful and I hope that you now know whether or not these design boot camps are, are right for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you.